Hey everyone, did you know that Saturday, June 1st is National Trails Day? If you go to ctwoodlands.org, you can get a listing of all the guided or independent hiking events occurring throughout the state of Connecticut. Or if you just want to stay local, you can come down to the Center Springs office right behind me at Center Springs Park, pick up one of these trail guide maps, has a QR code on it, and gives you digital versions of all the maps that are located on the back of the form here. So head on down to Center Springs Park or just go to ctwoodlands.org to find a hike within your area. Welcome back. I'm Chris Silver, Director for the Department of Leisure, Family and Recreation and your host for this episode of Trail Talk. Today I'm coming to you from Center Springs Park located in the central part of Manchester. Today we're going to talk about the 0.95 mile loop trail and we'll talk about some of the exciting projects that are going to be taking place in Center Springs Park. So come join me on the loop trail and explore Center Springs Park and what it has to offer. Come on with me. In 2018, we completed a master plan for Center Springs Park, engaged the community, and make suggestions of things they'd like to see here in the park. Overwhelmingly, people said, we didn't know this park was here. We had to somehow make this park more visible and accessible so that people knew it was here and would come to the park and use it. Right now, we are building our third main entrance, providing a visible access point to the park. We're going to meet Tim Bacchus, who will talk to you a little bit more about this project and some of the other exciting projects that will happen in the park within the next year to two years. Let's continue our walk on the Loop Trail and meet up with Tim. Come on with me. Hi, I'm Tim Bacchus, Director of Public Works for the Town of Manchester. This is the most recent project of several that we've completed in the recent past as a result of the master planning, including the fountains that you've seen in our pond, the Bigelow Street entrance, and our dredging of the pond. So this project in particular, as well as some of the other projects that we're undertaking in Center Springs, has been funded by the state of Connecticut. So with that funding, we have additional projects identified within Center Springs Park, including lighting of the trail network throughout the park, lighting of the bridge over on the Cheney Rail Trail, and creating opportunity to have concerts and other events in the park. This project in particular aligns with a lot of other things that we're doing in town which is connectivity of our trails. But having the connectivity allows us to bring people from other areas of town and beyond to visit things like our downtown through this project and the East Coast Greenway and others. Well, I'm glad you had the opportunity to see one of the entrances in progress being built. We're gonna head over to the Bigelow main entrance via Loop Trail and check out this new entrance that has an artful spin to it. Come on with me. I'm at the Bigelow Street entrance. This is one of my favorite projects and entrances. The three oaks, there's two red and white oaks behind me that have been sculptured into this art. We were gonna to have to remove these trees to build this entrance. However, we were able to save them and commemorate them in an artful way. Today, Center Springs Park hosts a number of great community amenities, including an 18-hole disc golf course, fishing, observation piers, covered pavilions, and home to the Center Springs Lodge main office for the Department of Leisure, Family, and Recreation. Now that we've unveiled Center Springs Park to you and made visible to you our several new access points into the park, the time is now to get up get out and get moving. So come down to the park, connect to the Loop Trail, and even connect up to the Cheney Rail Trail. Join me next episode when we come from Globe Reservoir. Until then, happy trails.